To conduct a stand count, you need a couple of tools. Uh, you need a tape measure, and then you're gonna need something to mark where you started your, your stand count at. In 30 inch corn, you're going to measure 17 feet and five inches, and then you're gonna count how many emerged plants are in that. And then with my knife, I'm gonna mark off where to start counting. And now I'm going to count every plant within this, this path that we have mapped out here. So we got one, two. When you get your number, let's say you measure out and then you have 33,000 plants, then you can go off of that as saying that you have an emergence of 33,000 plants per acre. So you take 17 foot and five inches, you count the number of plants, and then you multiply that number by a thousand. And then that's going to give you your stand count. 28, 29, 30. So we have 30,000 uh, of a stand count here. So we counted 30 plants, multiply that by a thousand, that gives us a 30,000 plants in the stand. So uh, the target here was 35, uh, 35, five, sorry. And there's a few issues in this pass that we're gonna see. There's some skips that you'll see in some spots. That's where it just didn't pick up a seed and didn't drop it into the furrow. And then there's doubles. It's also important when you're doing the stand count, make sure that you're evaluating where those, those skips are uh, and where those doubles are so you can see if you're seeing a pattern across your field. We showed you how to do the old method. Uh, that's how when I was a crop scout a uh, long time ago, uh, that's how I would take stand counts looking at fields. But with technology now, we have a much more efficient way of getting those stand counts. So I'm holding in my hand here a drone equipped with a sensor on top of it. Uh, and then this is gonna give us the, op uh, the opportunity to fly this entire field we're standing in and then get a stand count in different zones of the field. So based off of that, we're gonna be able to make different management decisions going into uh, the year. So although people like to evaluate their, uh, you know, based off yield zones and things like that, it's important to remember that Stand count is very important because at the end of the year, those plants standing, that's gonna produce an ear that we're gonna harvest. And that's what we need to be looking at when we're making these management decisions. So uh, what we're gonna do is take this drone off. We're gonna have it go take some pictures for us. And then uh, when we get the data back, we're gonna crunch it. And then we're gonna get a nice pretty map uh, on the, uh, the different stand counts and where the high spots and low spots are gonna be in terms of stand count.